ado, let's take a look at the Young Wan Night Market. So it's a mixture of some, what we say, traditional little street markets and storefronts and it is a mixture of food and retail. Now on either corner behind the family mart to the right is a really famous bubble tea retailer and the second little one where you see that long line is a famous uh, Taiwanese snack known as guaba one of my favorites and there's never not a line at either one of these establishments Let's see if we can't get a shot for you so they do have a little seating area in the back but this is really the entire restaurant right here that's a pork belly mixture with the uh, pickled, I believe, mustard greens and a rice bun that you see up there that's steamed. Very, very good. Uh, very inexpensive, about 60 NT, which is about two bucks US. Now this street in the evening fills up with a lot of what we call street vendors. It's a type of dessert. I don't know if you can see it, it's different kinds of fried food, chicken, seafood, things of that nature. Definitely a good vendor. This looks like Vietnamese sandwiches. Those sandwiches are a little around $2.50 each. Most of the food here is going to be like $1 to $5. Uh, it's going to be very inexpensive. Let's see what we have here. Oh, the roasted corn. This stuff is really, really good. Here's another side street of food vendors. We'll go check those out. Now this one must be pretty good. We got a long line here. Let's see what they're serving. Not sure what it is. Here's another type of pan fried dumpling. And some kind of fried dough with egg.
Looks like another kind of dessert, kind of fried dough with some peanut powder. And again, folks, if you're tourists, first time here, don't feel, don't feel bashful. If you see something, just ask for it, point, talk. They typically know enough English that you can order, kind of tell you what it is. And they're so inexpensive, if you really hate it, you can just toss it out, it's not gonna really harm anything. Ah, these are one of my favorites. They're in English known as wheel cakes. Let's see if we can get a better shot here. And they're basically like a pancake or waffle batter. Um, there's two halves and they stuff it with various items. You can see some black bean or sesame, some taro, the purple. They have uh, different types of cream. Very, very good. You might have to get one of those before the night's over with. Here. Never go wrong with meat on a stick. Each stick runs between 40 and 110 AT, which is about 75 cents to, I don't know, about three bucks. Produce stand. This looks like type of I think an egg pancake. I know what it is, but I can't think of the name. I'm going to try to get some uh, descriptions on these after I ask my relatives. So hang tight, guys. Maybe I can update you during. Wow, I don't know what these are, but they smell really good. These look like scallion pancakes. And these are different types of seafood. You got squid ball, grilled shrimp, some grilled corn. Let's see. These look like fried chicken cutlets. Again. Meat on a stick, you can't go wrong. Guys, like I mentioned before, if you like this and enjoy these types of videos, make sure you give me this thumbs up, subscribe to that channel, hit that notification bell. I really, really appreciate it. I really enjoy showing off uh, the sights and sounds of Taiwan. Here's another real cake. You can see some here with some cream. Now the food vendors aren't typically here during the day, but they definitely come out at night. Most of the storefronts are open during the day. Let's see, oh, we got some more wheel cakes. All right, we got Deep fried scallion dough, so an egg. These look very good. Oh no, just fill me. Korean tempura.
looks like she's gonna make some oyster pancakes. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. <laughs> 